A uh, warm welcome also from my side. It's great that this is a big audience. Uh, as, as we heard, we are celebrating the inauguration of Alps with a symposium. I like this. This is, of course, good and scientific. You heard this uh, CSCS is, is, of course, the host of Alps, and uh, it's part of ETH. And, but I will talk a little bit what uh, the jobs are that uh, Thomas Schultes is taking on, so you'll see it's much more than just ETH is really in, in a very important infrastructure internationally and, of course, for Switzerland. So um, we came a long way. Uh, Pitz Palau, Monte Rosa, Pitz Dain, and now Alps. Never really understood why it suddenly moved from one peak to everything. And then it's also quite difficult to do another step, but maybe Thomas has an idea, right? Uh, Maybe the next step is not Switzerland anymore, and you'll start using mountain ranges outside of Switzerland. I, I see no other option, right? So, so this is maybe he has something in mind. We should ask him later uh, about this, and, and then he can tell us. But I, I think uh, you're all aware, thanks to uh, that first order of these NVIDIA Grace Hopper chips, I think we are in a unique situation to really now. Uh, change things in Switzerland with really an academic AI capable supercomputer that is on par or better than what else is out there and and we should really leverage this not not for ETH but really for the whole of Switzerland. I just want to mention a few things because I, I have to say things are really coming nicely together. Uh, as you know, uh, there's ETH and EPFL both have the AI centers dedicated at AI research, and I can tell you we have already managed to now form a joint structure that will be announced in four to five weeks, and uh, that will, of course, rely on the ALPS uh, architecture and the ALPS supercomputer in the future. We have the Swiss AI initiative, which was approved and will start in uh, 25, which should also leverage ALPS and combine research across all domains in Switzerland in certain topics. We have other initi initiatives uh, such uh, as the ICANE initiative for AI global compute for the global south, and Thomas is already active in that area. But, but of course, CSCS and ALPS will have other jobs as well, right? We must never forget we have the user labs, we have PASC, and those need to continue. I think they're an integral part uh, of, of this setup, and they serve actually a lot of people, both on the national and the international scale, and, and I think we'll need to continue this. And there's, of course, then the ETH domain, the materials cloud, the PSI work, uh, the square uh, kilometer array, and so on. And last but not least, uh, it's a national infrastructure because Meteo Schweiz does its calculation at up. So you see, this is really a, a Swiss infrastructure, so Alps is a good name. I want to hear what the next one will be, so if you're there, you can make a suggestion in your talk. I think it's, it's decently open, so we have to be careful what you say. So I wish you all a pleasant symposium and a lot of scientific insight, and uh, tomorrow a great inauguration in Lugano. I'll be there as well. And then a great start into the next few months and years with Alps and combining all our AI research across Switzerland. Thanks a lot.